This is the Trangia burner. It's designed to burn denatured alcohol. But what happens when we burn other stuff in it? Let's find out. Today we're going to fill one of these burners with regular denatured alcohol as it was intended. We're going to fill the other one with Coleman Camp Fuel. People have said that if you fill one of these with Coleman Camp Fuel, it could explode. Let's find out. We can see here, the Coleman fuel took off with a big flame right away, but the denatured alcohol is taking a little bit of time to warm up. After several minutes, the flame production of the alcohol seems to have caught up to the Coleman fuel. Okay, at this point, the burner with the Coleman fuel in it is completely out. The fluid is completely gone, but the burner with the denatured alcohol in it is still going strong. It's got about 15 to 20 percent of its fuel left, and it's not going out for a long time. I think it's safe now to shut it down and review our results. Okay, well. The good news is, it did not blow up. 
but let's take a look at these and see what we think. The stove with the Coleman fuel in it burnt with a very large, very smoky orange flame. It may have even burned hotter than the alcohol in the stove. But we've got all this uh, black uh, soot on it now, which tells me it probably isn't burning very efficiently. It also didn't burn as long as the stove with the alcohol in it. And uh, I have to wonder, is that going to be enough burn time for a uh, equal amount of fuel to even boil my water? I don't know. We're going to have to try that out in another video. So that's what happens when you burn Coleman fuel in a Trangia burner. It's probably not as dangerous as you might think, but it's probably also not as good of a cooking fuel as you might think, at least in this platform. Anyway, hope you like this experiment, and uh, we'll try and be back with some more videos as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.